Hi guys and welcome to Unity tutorial of a lottery number generator. So let me show you guys how this works. When I click on this button here, check that out. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take you guys straight into Unity development environment and we put one of these together. So let's do that now guys. So we'll start a new tutorial by clicking on new project. And I'm just going to select, you can select 2D and in here I'm going to give that a name, I'll call it Lottery. And let's click on Create. Now a system is coming up. Okay guys, my development environment is ready. I'm going to start by first of all right clicking on this area or you can just select the hierarchy and let's go straight into the ui and select panel there we go we've selected the panel so let's zoom in a little bit now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add let's add something maybe like a button now right inside the panel or you can just right click on the panel go back to your ui and let's go straight into legacy and there i'm going to select the button and there that's my button i'm just going to peg the button right there and maybe increase the size something that much thing that would do all right now let's come right in the button here drop it down there's a text there so that very text i'm going to change that to maybe lottery or lotto something like that that we do and let's come in here and increase the font size i'm going to make that maybe 100 let's see what's going to happen with 100 okay that's that's fine so let's come in here make sure we select the button and just drag that that much all right and i'm going to select the text and just make it bold yeah that's cool now you see this button the choice is yours you can always give it a name but i'm just going to give it a name i'll call it btn lotto or lottery whatever you want to call it that's cool now the next thing i want to do is i'm going to right click the panel one more time and i need to go straight to ui and i'm going to select legacy again i need a text now that is my text box right there. The problem is we can't see the text that much. I just want to use that for my title. The title that I'm going to add in there, I'm just going to call that lottery. Let's correct that. So I'm going to call that lottery generator. Okay, we're not going to be able to see it, so let's increase the font size. I'm going to go for about 120. And I'm going to also make it bold. Let's increase the font size and just drag it that much and see. You should be able to see it now. There we go. That is it. But I like the background to be white. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm now going to go back in here. Okay, on the panel there or wherever, just right click. Let's right click on the panel and go back to UI. Inside the UI, you see where we have image there. And I'm going to make sure this text box is below this image. So drag this image, select it. Let's move that. You see that, guys? Let's select this red transform of the image. And I'm going to just check that to get it update count by like centered then i'm able to see the width let's select it again that's the width so i'm going to just paste that 1000 plus there you see that and let's just drag it in to align with that and the height is about 150 something let's check out the text again okay copy that select the image and just paste that in there there we go look at that so that takes care of that so i just need to get it aligned properly 
there. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run it. I just want to show you guys how that looks like. Let's run it for now. There, that's how it's looking. Not too bad. That's good. All right. Now, one more thing that we need to do is you see this image. Maybe I should just make this text a child of that image. It, this text, a child of the image. Yeah, that's that's fine. All right. That's that's good. Cool. So I'm going to then you see this very image here. Let's change the name to IMG title. All right, that's good. Okay, I'm now going to right click on it, create a duplicate. I already have a duplicate, just drag it down. That is my duplicate. But in the case of my duplicate, I'm going to reduce the size completely of that very duplicate to maybe let's go for maybe about 20 the first in the first place you see the text content on it i'm going to get rid of that as well so drop down that image select the text box whatever i have in there get rid of it now go back to the image and now i'm going to call that image image lotto one there and let's reduce the size to about 20 Oh, 20 seems to be too small though. Let's just call it 100 and see. 100 seems to be too small as well. So let's say 180. Oh, that's 100 plus. I'm going to make it 140. Okay, 140. Now, as for this, I'm going to make it 140 as well. Now select both and just drag them here. So we have the very first image. I'm going to then increase the size, make that 60. I'm just going to copy it anyway. So click here, make this 160 as well. Brilliant. So that's lot to one. Right click, I need six of those. So we have two. Drag it. Select both. We have four now. There we go, that's good. And repeat the same thing. Now we have six. There. All right, that's good. So I'm just going to change the names. So this is going to be Lotto 2, and this will be Lotto. No, that should be 1. This is 1, Lotto 1, Lotto 2, Image 6 there we go and it's cool so you can put them in order if you want choice is yours so we have four here and we have five so that's good all of them are now in order now that that is taken care of now let's take care of some lines of code i'm going to right click in here you see the project area right click let's go to create select C sharp and just give that a name let's just call it lottery codes there we go now that's the lottery code you can double click on it or you just come right in here and just click on open click on open there we go okay now the development environment is ready so the first thing is we need the library for the UI so let's copy and paste that so I'm going to say dot UI so without the UI we won't be able to use the, the button or the text box now let's get rid of all this yeah get rid of everything or I'll just get rid of this other one I will make use of the other one so first of all I'm going to create as follows so let's say public game object and that is going to be let's say txt lottery one there we go that would be for my very first text box and this txt lottery number one 
we will need to add a number to it as well so let's say public as well the number of integer okay we have lottery number two let's do that two we have three anyway so we have six i mean we have three four five and six good the system has generated the rest for us so we're going to need six of those and the next one that i'm going to take care of would be an integer so let's say public integer and that is just going to be for the number so i'm going to change this one to num number one number no, let's say number lottery one okay or lottery number one okay then change that to lottery number one there we need two as well three four five and six very good so all my variables are in place now you see this very one here I'm going to call it this update. I'm going to call that public update. No, public void generate lottery or general or random random number or something like that or random generator. Okay, random generator. That's good. Random generator. That's the name of my function. And inside the function, I'm going to first of all start by saying lottery number one, this very one, copy paste that in there, that will be equals random dot render from one to whatever. So in this case, it's going to be between 1 and 59 there so whatever we have in here whatever random number that is generated and now I have to store it inside lotto 1 I'm going to grab a hold of lotto 1 so I'll come down here paste and I will ask you to get so let's say dot gets components and these components all I just want you to get is the text okay and enter parenthesis dot to text and that will be as follows so that signifies string and I'm then going to say add the following and what I, what do I want you to add I want you to add lotto number one grab all of that paste that right in there so that is my very first one okay all i just need to do is to repeat exactly the same thing for the others but before i go any further or uh, maybe just copy and just change it around okay let's copy it then we'll go into the code that is for number two number three number four five and six so let's change the names okay take a good look at the variables declared the global variables declared and bring it down remember you will also need to import ui first and declare the following now coming here this is number one taken care of i'm going to change this one to two and two here and this one is two as well we have three three and three four four and right here we have four we have five five and five then we have six there we go and last enter number six in there as well there no this one should be six there we go that is it all done i'm going to save it now save and let's come straight to our unity editor 
right there it's now compiling there's no error that's good now that that is done you see the button btn lotto okay i'm now going to drag the lines of code and just dump it right in there okay now it's now asking me where is text box one so text box one is right here let's go for img lot one drag drop it there okay repeat the same thing for the next one img lot two drag drop it there img lot three drag drop it right in there img lot number four the text drag drop it in there img lot number five drag drop it in there and img not to number there we go okay guys now that all of that is taken care of we now also need to take care of you see the function we need to add it onto the button I agree this added onto the button but we need to add it because it's going to be for a click event so I'm going to select the button again it is selected anyway now come in here you see where we have click event of the button in the inspector area okay so it's asking me where is the object the object happens to be in here drag and just drop it right in there the object is in the button now it's asking me which of the function are you referring to the function that i'm referring to is right here okay that is the function okay so the random generated function so come in here and the function click and come in here we need the one that says lottery codes lottery code this is it this is the one i'm looking for here so lottery but that's the name of my system sorry it's not this function this is the function this is the class name that's what I'm looking for the class name okay now come right in here you see where we have no function drop it down and let's select lottery code that's the lottery code and what are we looking for there we're looking for the public function called random generator there that is it all done so I'm going to just click on games and let's select maximize click on run there our lottery number is ready click on there we go look at that guys okay and good luck you can always try that out who knows it could be you so guys with that i'm going to kind of like call it the end of this beautiful tutorial and i suppose you guys enjoy it and please do subscribe to my channel and you can also join to become a member of the channel there's a lot of benefit for members we all have a nice day now and bye for now